ever encountered anybody who actually looked at you, looked at what you do and your ideas and then the person was like, mm, I'm not sure I'm good enough for this. Then on the other hand, we have those who actually do spew these things out, but just that they don't sit to your feet. Then I also remembered how a friend of mine told me about from one man of God about the fact that she was going to be a lesbian and so whatever she tries to do is to prove that man of God wrong. You know, there are things people say that affect or shape our lives if we don't really take it. So when you get to face something like this, what do you do about it? Know who you are. If that identity gives you the reason to keep moving. Some of these stuffs we hear are constructive criticisms and they kind of do as some sort of good part of those who will not help you along i mean in your journey to wherever you're supposed to get to if they're not going to help you get to that place what are they doing in your life again anybody who actually looked at you looked at what you do and your ideas and then the person was like mm, i'm not sure i'm good enough for this i don't think your ideas are worthwhile i am not sure you are capable enough and these things you know make you to kind of um second guess yourself they bring you down and you feel like um did I do some sort of mistake or did I get it wrong somewhere? Have you ever encountered anything like this? And the sad part of it is most of those who actually do this don't know you at all. But then they still pass their judgments. <laughs> what do you do about it? Let me know in the comment section, guys. And then on the other hand, we have those who actually do spew these things out. But just that they don't say to your face. So rather than telling you mm, this idea, the NOMFA, they try to you know put up some sort of attitudes and behaviors, and you now you would know that mm, this is what this person is actually driving to. The person is just trying to say, hey, your ideas are not worth it. Come on, just just stop what you are doing already. If you've ever experienced any of these things that I just mentioned, then this video is for you. Um, in this video, I'm going to share one of the instances I actually uh, went through something similar and what I think could be done when you're faced with something like this. So without much ado, let's get right into the video. So most times when I go on social media, I kind of go there with an agenda. Either I'm going to make a post or probably a notification cuts my attention. One of the days I was on Facebook um, trying to go through my chats as usual and uh, I came across this particular chat. I clicked the person's chat and it was, um, you look like a pastor. And I'm like, oh, thank you. Then, some few days back, I went back and then the person was like, but you can't be a pastor. And I'm like, mm, ah. But you were the one who said, okay, no problem, thank you, but you are no good. <laughs> and then the person came back and I was like, um, that was a wrong question. I should have asked why he said that. <laughs> I was just like startled. I'm like, ah, I thought about this and I'm like, oh, well, fine. If you put yourself out there, you know, you give everybody the opportunity to kind of um, have a say in whatever you do, okay? So probably with the scriptures and the motivational messages that I do share on Facebook for the most part, I think it's what is giving this guy the opportunity to say, oh, you look like a pastor. Now, let me put this disclaimer out there. Not everybody who shares the word of God is a pastor. So the fact that I put some scriptures here and there does not make me a pastor. Look at me, major clerical. I'm not wearing clerical. Then this guy went on to send me a lot of scriptures, like 
a lot of them trying to prove his point that oh although you look like a pastor you can never be a pastor guess what because you are a woman so i just ignored it but then after sitting down for a while although i wasn't thinking about what he said thoughts started you know coming back to mind i remembered when my dad said um as at the time i had completed high school i, I remembered he mentioned something about how my mates were almost done with school that was nursing training and a lot more and i didn't have a life my life is useless and i can make it and all of that then i also remembered how a friend of mine told me about um, a prophetic word she received from one man of god about the fact that she was going to be a lesbian and so whatever she tries to do is to prove that man of god wrong so whether she loved a particular guy or not she would just try to enter into the relationship with that person because um, she felt that when her parents find out that it is a man who is in her, is in her life they wouldn't worry that much you know and all of that i remember there was a time i sat in a church row from from la paz to butcher school junction and um I preached in the car, so when I was almost about getting to my destination, I was left with this guy who was sitting right beside me all through the journey. And the guy was like, yes, it's a good thing you just did. Actually, you just reminded me of blah, 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 and what, what, what not. But then, as a young lady, next time when you want to, preach like this you have to cover your hair you have to do that you have to do this i just said oh okay thank you very much you know and then that ended it then i'm like you know there are things people say that affect or shape our lives if we don't really take care i realized that these were things people said about us and one way or the other it kind of affects the way we live our life it kind of affects how we see life and it impacts how we go about doing our things in general and if care is not taken it would do us more harm than good the reason being that these things actually crawl into your thoughts and they bring out your insecurities and remind you of your low self-esteem which you may probably be dealing with okay or they remind you of the past just like in my case when these words are able to get to you you begin to lose your willpower you become frustrated and for the most part you are angry because how can you tell me this like it comes back to you except you choose to ignore so when you get to face something like this what do you do about it so the first thing you should always have in mind is that you should know who you are that is your secret to escaping all these you know utterances whether verbal or non-verbal from people friends relatives and all of that know who you are and that identity gives you the reason to keep moving if you know who you are it's an inward something so whatever is within you is what reflects outside so gets it within you that this is who i am i am this i am that and then let nothing change it so the moment thoughts or people statements and stuff like that keep crawling or start crawling into your mindset and all of that the consciousness you have about yourself comes to play it counters it and then you are able to move over these utterances. The second thing you can do is to unleash your internal validation. Yes, probably your lecturers could have told you, mm, you can't. Even doctors could have given you their verdicts. You would not survive. What are you also saying about the situation? I mean, the guy says he cannot be a pastor. Well, personally, I don't wish to be a pastor, but if God says, 
my daughter, my daughter, you have to be a pastor. Why not? <laughs> Do you get it? So what are you also saying about it? Are you in bread with what they are saying or you are you are countering it with your internal validation guys don't wait for validation from no one you don't need to prove a point why should you care about what people think or say about you you don't need the validation to make it in this world of course we need one another to be able to you know get to do certain things and all of that but i don't have to sit and wait for you to approve my ideas for you i don't have to sit and wait for you to tell me whether or not i could be a pastor or not before i i move on to do my preaching on online or wherever i find myself your validation comes from god it doesn't come from no man regardless of who the person is the person could be a president a head of a very big huge company but then the hearts of kings are in the in the palms of god they are in his hands like this and he controls it so whose validation matters to you the most what somebody else is saying or what god is saying think about it there's this saying that says there's a truth in every rumor okay so find out for yourself sometimes you should not all the time but sometimes you should because some of these stuffs we hear are constructive criticisms and they kind of do as some sort of good especially when they are coming from mentors um parents um leaders and people we look up to you know they kind of do us some good to an extent so imagine you are going the wrong way and your mentor or leader or pastor says oh come on this is no good for you you should do this you could do this better or something at the end of the day it is up to you to sit down and make your analysis do yourself some good by researching about what they are talking about. Do some researching, do some digging, do some reading and develop you as well. So it's not all the time that all these things actually um, are there to, you know, bring you down and trample on your emotions and all of that. They can also do you some sort of good. The final thing I'm going to make mention of is establish boundaries. Look, there is this popular saying that says, show me your friends and I'll show you your character. Or, birds of the same feathers flock together. Well, not in most cases, but even the good book says don't be unequally yoked with. Just put it there. <laughs> so, if you know this person who keeps looking down on you who keeps discouraging you who keeps criticizing you hey and you're still there doing what what exactly are you doing there please advise yourself set boundaries and like i said earlier that the moment you put you out there you give everybody the opportunity to be able to say something about you and so you should always have it in mind that regardless of what you do regardless of how you dress regardless of how you talk whatever people are definitely going to have something to say about it as to whether it's negative or positive so be ready for it cut off those who will not help you along i mean in your journey to wherever you're supposed to get to if you're not going to help you get to that place what are they doing in your life again remind me yes and so have it in your mind that this is the boundaries i'm setting the unfortunate thing too is that there's a lot of people out there who don't know nothing about you but they are able to actually pass out their verdicts about you based on what they've seen or read about you and then that ends it they've just drawn their conclusion on your matter already it doesn't really matter if it's coming from your parents from your close relatives or friends from your mentors or pastor or a stranger it doesn't really matter 
whoever these stuffs are coming from. You do your own due diligence by doing your reading, researching, and choosing the right path for yourself with God's guidance. And you would reach your goal definitely. With that said, thank you so much for making time to watch me. And please share your experiences with us and let's know how you also handle stuff like this when they came up to you. Did it come to you? <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I hope you've given this video some stuff. I hope you are sharing with your loved ones and friends. And I hope you've subscribed to the channel. Please do so, do so, do so. Until my next video, don't forget to do you, do you. And do you bye bye.